No, uh, Dr. Bassam, mm. uh, what you are telling our audiences now, our viewers, is a beautiful demonstration the way God intends to, to give his word to the world. Yes. And we understand as human beings, water is for free. Mm. But piping the water to the house right. costs a lot of money. Yes. And that's why we pay for water that we drink, even though it's free. True. And in the same token, God's word given to the human race is free. Mm -hmm. it's, there's no charge Amen. for the word of God. Yes. It's given freely to all mankind. But for the word of God to go to the people in Persia, in Iran, in Afghanistan, that costs money. The piping of the gospel mm. to those nations is costly. Time for the satellite, uh, uh, workers, equipment, <laughs> and everything. Yes. So mm. my, my question to you, Dr. Bassam, and I know you mentioned <laughs> it earlier, mm. that we do God's work by faith. Yes. We go day to day, yes. we, and God does provide. Right. But my question is, maybe somebody viewing and seeing this broadcast now, maybe for the first time, maybe uh, more than that, mm. and would like to be part of ABN ministry and support. Mm. What is it that ABN can share with our viewers that desire to be part of ABN ministry through their weekly support, monthly support, whatever. What can you share with our viewers who desire to be partakers of ABN's ministry? Thank you, Pastor Jihad. I appreciate that. And uh, I really, all what I can say is I'm trusting God that He will inspire you. He will show you the depth of His love and His concern about human beings. So there is very little percentage of, uh, of missions and missionaries uh, going to that region because it is hard soil and there's f full of turmoil and uh, terrorism. And, you know, as Islamist and militant, uh, they haven't left any place without destruction. So... Um, most of the churches or of the missions, okay, they have been withdrawn. Why? Because number one, the barrier of language. Number two, the security and safety. And number three, it is uh, unless you speak their language, unless you, you have uh, people preaching to them by their own mother language, it's not going to work, okay? And we know these uh, informations uh, since 80 years ago until now. Now, what I, what I would like to answer your question, Pastor Jihad, is, is without you, we cannot do anything. So if it wasn't because of you as one of the donors that support or part partner with us, we will not be able even to go uh, 200 yards from here, the place that we are. By the way, um, Pastor Jihad, you know this building. Yes, okay? I remember. So we bought it uh, something about 30, 14 years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. After one year, after launching our channel, we were working from the basement in, in a church in Walt Lake. And you've been to that yes. basement. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, can you describe this building, okay, to our viewers? Because they think like, wow, maybe if they are going uh, with this kind of big vision, big mission, they are talking international, uh, only God knows what kind of building they have or what kind of bank account they have, <laughs> maybe triple than what TBN have or CNN have. Can you just briefly describe our building uh, and our channel, well, so, that, so that they will start understanding who is ABN, what yeah. is ABN. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you know, uh, 
First of all, I, I would like to thank each and every viewer of ABN even now as you are watching this broadcast live or recorded. Uh, ABN has always been running by faith. Always, from day one. I remember when the Lord compelled Dr. Bassam to start the ministry. He started it from his basement. And, uh, and, and I have spoken with Dr. Bassam many times uh, during the early years of ABN. And God has opened the door for ABN to get this building and to start the ministry out of nothing. And you know something, brothers and, and, and viewers of ABN right now, uh, you know, Christ, when he came to this world, he called 12 disciples to promote the vision of God. And he needed men to spread the very word of God. Why? Is it because Christ wasn't able? No. It's because God desires to partner with men to give the gospel out. Can you? Do you know uh, that angels cannot proclaim the gospel? Did you know that? God entrusted the salvation message not to the angels, not to anybody else, but to human beings, to us. And it's our responsibility to give the gospel message to the human race. Not a single angel. In fact, when God desired for his man his, 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 to be saved, to be released, he sent an angel and the angel told him, go into uh, a man and he will tell you what to do. When he went to uh, uh, the apostle, and uh, he said, what shall I do? And he said, uh, you know, God has revealed to me that the gospel message should go to the world, not just to the Jews. And that's why I'm here to give you the gospel message. And he accepted Christ and he was saved and all his family. That was the first Gentile to be born again. Now, Dr. Bassam is asking a question that is completely uh, determining the impact of the gospel message. And my, my uh, desire, Dr. Bassam, from this show yes. is that maybe somebody watching us even now and the Lord has spoken to his heart mm. and he has the ability to partner with ABN in financial support to give the gospel message to the majority of the human race, which is in the Far East. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that would be an answer to prayer for the vision that God gave ABN. My, in fact, Dr. Bassam, in, 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 in uh, Acts chapter 2, mm -hmm. we read the, the beginning of the church. Yes. And we, we, we see how the Jews were uh, 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 coming into Jerusalem and when we read the account in, in Acts chapter 2, beginning at verse 8, yes. we see there were about 12 tongues, 12 nations. Yes. And one of them mm. was Persia. Persia. Yes. And I'm amazed how God gives the gospel message to a few and it spreads yes. to millions. You're right. And even in Africa also, the guy that came into the Middle East and he went back, the ruler, mm. and he said, what shall I do to be saved? He said, believe on the Lord Jesus. And he went and he gave the gospel message to the whole African nation. Yes. Okay. My, my concern, Dr. Bassam, even now, as we give this broad, live broadcast to our English audience, is what is it? that is needed for ABN to continue promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ, mm. not just here in, in the Middle East or in, in the United States and the Middle East, but to the ends of the world. That's the title of the, mm. of the, of the uh, broadcast today. Yes. 